Welcome back to Monday Night Football. Happy Christmas. We're down at the Valley tonight for the last Barclays Premiership match before Christmas. It's Charlton against Fulham. And we're interactive, so you can decide how you want to watch tonight's game, from what angle or from another perspective, maybe. Perhaps a biased one with the fan zone. All you have to do is press your red button and away you go. Now, they've played each other six times in the Premiership, these two. Fulham winning three times. Charlton just once. Round seven coming up. Let's join our commentators at the Valley, Alan Smith and Rob Hawthorne. And this is a meeting of two London clubs who, in their time, been used to sharing, ground sharing. While Fulham spent two years away from their spiritual home, Charlton spent seven years sharing with Crystal Palace and West Ham before their return here in December 1992. But now that they are back at the Valley, there are ambitious plans to redevelop this ground into a 40,000 all-seater arena. Charlton will be away from it in their next game on Boxing Day, and the manager of their opponents then, Southampton, Harry Redknapp, is here along with Kevin Bond to watch tonight's encounter. One or two hoping for Christmas gifts in terms of a climb up the table. Charlton can get into the top seven if Matt Holland can lead them to victory here tonight. They'll climb above Aston Villa and Tottenham. As for Fulham, a win will take them one place in an upward direction to 14. Both teams with decent results in their last two games. Map Holland and Charlton, their win last time out against West Brom. Two 1 0 wins in succession for them. For Fulham, it's a victory at Norwich and a draw at home to Manchester United that we saw a week ago in their last two games. That stunning goal from Papa Boubadiop earning them that unlikely point. <laughs> Andy Cole earned Fulham their last away win. He got the winning goal in the match at Norwich. Fulham with a good recent record on their travels. Four wins in their last five away from home. Two of those victories in the Carling Cup. Players here being kept waiting by the officials. Now the assistant referees have joined the head of the line. Players can come out to experience a cold night here at the Valley. So it's a London derby that will be the last Premiership game before Christmas. Charlton keep the same side in consecutive Premiership games for the first time since the end of October. Four members of this team have featured in every game so far. Goalkeeper Dean Kiley and Luke Young, who started all of them. Herman Horidison and Danny Murphy both came on after being left out of games against Chelsea and Middlesbrough, respectively. Unsettled Jason Ewell, who's been linked with a January move to Fulham, again has to be content with a place on the bench. Well, this is a system that Alan Kirbishley has had some success with this season. 4-3-3, when they're in possession, it's worked quite well. And it's a system that suits the players that he's got available, I think. Matty, uh, Danny Murphy in midfield, he's gradually acclimatised to life in South East London. And he forms quite a solid base there 
alongside Matt Holland and Kishi Chef. But it is a system that depends on the two wide men doing their job, Lomadale and Jerome Thomas. They've got to make sure that Sean Bartlett doesn't get exposed, isolated up front. They've got to try and support and at the same time keep their full-backs occupied. Jerome Thomas has done that last, couple, last eight games. And if you wanted to do it again, like their hosts, Fulham stick to the personnel on duty for their last match. Liam Rossini's outstanding debut at right back against Manchester United means that the 20-year-old plays again, despite the availability of Moritz Voltz after suspension. He's the youngest member of the side, the oldest at 34 is goalkeeper Edwin van der Sar, whose services Fulham hope to retain beyond this season when his contract runs out. Steve Malbronk wears four and has scored four in his last four games against Charlton, the majority from the penalty spot. At 37, Liam well, there's no need for Chris Coleman to do much with his lineup after that good second half performance against Manchester United. It's a system with a midfield diamond. It makes it quite a narrow formation in the middle, and the onus is on the fullbacks to get forward and occupy those two fullbacks. They'll be attacking and get some crosses into the box. And Liam Messina, the young 20 year old on his debut, managed that brilliant against United. And you want to push Jerome Thomas, his direct opponent back as much as he can. Everyone now will know all about Booba Diop's capabilities from 30 yards out and they'll be wanting to close him down whenever he settles on the ball. But as the anchor man in that midfield system, he does such a good job. Long legs, gets the play moving and he's a real plus for Fulham. 24, Jonathan Fulton. Alex, number 16, Stefan Anderson. That man of the match performance from Liam Rossignol means he retains his place after the dream debut against Manchester United. His dad, Leroy, played in three spells with Fulham and he also played three games in in the early 90s for Charlton. Steve Malbronk has given Charlton problems in the past. A hat trick knocked them out of the FA Cup two it's seasons ago, and he scored in the Premiership win over them in April. While most of those goals have been penalties, Charlton goalkeeper Dean Kiley has been used to giving away penalties in this fixture. He's conceded two in the last three meetings, the first of which saw him sent off in a 1-0 defeat here 19 months ago. Fulham have lost four of the last five London derbies they've played in the Premiership. The one win they've achieved in that time, the home victory against Tottenham back in October. Andy Cole, one of their scorers that day, along with Brian McBride, getting this match underway. And this is Luke Young looking for Sean Bartlett and already a challenge on Young that uh, Steve Bennett has to intervene on. a clash of heads, both players where they are on the ball, Bocanegra and Danny Murphy. Not what you want, first minute of a bitterly cold evening tonight. We get the blood pumping, keep the play moving. Charlton striker Sean Bartlett will be the first subject of player cam. Sky Digital viewers press the red button on your remote. Well, it looks as though there's no lasting damage, thankfully, for Carlos Bocanegra and Danny Murphy. And Sean Bartlett gives the ball back to Fulham from the restart. Fulham averaging a win every four matches in London derbies in the Premiership. Just eight out of 32 since they reached the elite forward was Ian Pierce's header away by Herman Horidison that's Papa Buba Diop now Liam Rossignol Kishishev's ball on knocked on by Romadal nice balance to the front three for Charlton with the speed of Romadal on the right and the balance and skill of Thomas on the left the thing is with Dennis Romadal Rob is that he has got something that none of his teammates have got tonight really in such quantities that genuine pace the ability to just whip past opponents and if they can get him going Charlton he really adds something different to the side and it took him a while to get his career going at the valley he certainly helped to do it with the last minute winner at Crystal Palace here's Jerome Thomas who's been making good headlines of his own 
pushed through by Kishishev, Legwinski and Bubadiop get it away. And header out is by Jonathan Fortune. Part of a reshaped Charlton backline this season. Chris Perry and Mark Fish have been absentees with injury. And El Karkouri and Fortune have done well in those central roles. Only now is Mark Fish on the brink of a return. Being crossed in by Rossinho. And here he is again, Liam Rossinho. Trying to get the better of Jerome Thomas. El Karkouri cuts out the cross. So, continued where he left off. Liam Messina, not shine coming forward and providing that width up the right hand side. Whipped in a good cross. Here's Herman Horidison. Thomas unable to keep it in. Now Bubadiop. Rossinia. This is Zesh Raymond, another of the young products who's come through from the Fulham ranks to do well this season. <coughs> Offside flag up against Brian McBride. Chris Coleman has shown already that he's not afraid to give youth its head. And with Rossini brought in from Bristol City and Raymond, who's come through the system, they're proving the point that it was worth his while to do that. Well, I think that's right. Zesh Raymond is somebody that hasn't had too much publicity, but he's been very solid coming to the side, hasn't done too much wrong at all. When you do come through the youth ranks, it means so much more, of course. Raymond climbing there with Bartlett. It was by Luke Young, pushing the back by Legwinski and Matt Holland. Here's Thomas. Now Horidison. Over by Rossinia. Jonathan Fortune has got forward for the throw in. Aims beyond him towards Bartlett, who gets a touch on now. Romadal trying to get in around the back of Bocanegra here. Did well juggling with it, but Raymond cuts out the ball in. Here's Romadal. Murphy evading the challenge of Raymond. He's got Bartlett in the middle. Hill there for handball against Bocanegra. Cambridge gets it away. Now Cole seemed to come up on his hand. Now Legwinski. Rossinho. Legwinski. Malbronk. Nadal himself in trouble. McBride couldn't work it through. Clear to Danny Murphy. The one from Bocanegra. Uber Diop underneath it. And this is Luke Young. Bartlett. Young has carried on his run, but Raymond held Bartlett up and then fouled him. Well, there was a half hearty penalty appeal. Danny Murphy whips it in. The arms are down. For me, no penalty. He's just turned side onto it, Bocanegra. The arm was up. It's a different matter. No voluntary move of the arm in the direction of the ball from the American defender. Free kick in towards Horidison, who is a danger in the air and forces the error from Van der Sar, who looked longingly at the referee. And so often goalkeepers get the benefit of any doubt on those decisions, but Steve Bennett ignored Van der Sar's appeals then. And so often, I think, referees are wrong to award the free kick against the keeper. I'm not doing anything wrong if it's a fair jump. And I think it was from Horidison. No need to blow your whistle. Horidison hurls in the throw towards Bartlett. Buba Diop's underneath it. Van der Sart was convinced this was a foul. Keep the eye on Horidison going in. Okay, the left arm's up perhaps. I don't think it makes too much contact with the keeper. Keeper just disturbed by it. Here's Thomas. Now 
Ferguson. Jerome Thomas. Now Murphy. Thomas again. Romadal. Holland. Ryderson leaving it in Holland's path. Pierce with the header clear. Now Pembridge. Malbrock. They pushed up really tight, and sure enough, McBride pulled offside. Well, Brian McBride had no need to do that. He pulled away onto the right hand side, and nobody had gone with him. He could see right across the line, and when he had to stay on side, and he was in all sorts of room. A challenge from Liam Rossignor on Danny Murphy. Rossini was actually a striker at Bristol City when he came to Fulham. They converted him into a right back where he performed in such an accomplished fashion last week. Pierce. Uber Jobs header. Now Holland. Ryderson. Uber Diop. Got a feed from him. That's McBride. Malbronk. And here goes Uber Diop once more. Legwinski. Senior's ball too close to the goalkeeper. Ryderson, now Thomas, He's pulled back by Liam Rossini. It's really nice close control from Jerome Thomas, right on the touchline. I think Rossini thought this ball was going to go out, but he just rolls along the line, shows good pace over five yards, Thomas to get away from his man. Well, Danny Murphy to deliver with a free kick El Karkouri amongst those in attack for it cleared by Rossini it's Kishishev Bartlett climbing but nobody for Charlton in the area where he directed it to Andersar aims one at Malbronk and picks him out magnificently here's Cole Malbronk looked for Pembridge instantly and Young stepped in it just shows you what a goalkeeper's kicking can, can do sometimes really accurate Kick out of his hands from van der Sar. It was three against three for a split second. Legrinsky. Bocanegra. And away to Kishishev, who looks to set Bartlett away here, but Pierce in control. Bubidiot neatly stepping away from Romadal. It's Bocanegra. Now McBride. by Radistin Kishishev and Steve Bennett wants a word. Oh, I didn't see too much in that. Kishishev just anxious not to let his opponent settle on the ball. Well, Pembridge delivers with a kick. Away by Fortune. It's on by Holland. Me and Pierce. Raymond. Bubadjok. Bocanegra. Raymond looking long for Brian McBride, who's got him behind El Karkouri. And the ball just had a fraction too much length on it. Yeah, it's a difficult one to bring down. McBride had stayed on side. It was a good run, just around the side of Andy Cole for McBride again Ryderson keeps it in Bartlett chesting it into the direction of Jerome Thomas he's being held up here by Rossini it's going to be 
a good tussle that one I think Thomas has had plenty of the ball only 12 minutes and one-on-one -on -one with the senior the senior expected the throw then and I think he had every right to expect the throw here's Kishishev here's Young played against Danny Murphy it's Young's cross and Raymond cuts it out Finnegar away. Charlton have lost two of their last three here at the Valley. Chelsea and Middlesbrough having beaten them here. They've got their confidence back together with those two recent away successes and if they can win tonight it'll be the first time they've had three consecutive wins in the Premiership for 14 months. Oh, Alan Kirby's decided. I think he'll feel they're slowly getting back to what they can be, to what they were last season. I think they're on the same points they were at this stage. But the clean sheets always helps. But I think both clubs have followed a similar pattern. Neither have been able to reach the highs that they did last term. Neither full of goals at the moment. I think it's going to be a close one tonight. Are you working? Are you working? Bocanegra, but Romadal couldn't make the most of it. Launched by Raymond. Here's Kishishev. Ryderson. Now Thomas. Ryderson. Attacked by Liam Rossinia. Senior here having to try and hold up for Ryderson and failing to do so. Eventually got back in front of him. This is Holland who sweeps it back in towards Bartlett. Cleared by Pembridge. Cole. Pembridge. Now Steve Malbron. Can he's offside? Andy Cole. Doesn't count. It's probably Fulham's best passage of play so far. They kept the ball, didn't break down. They had an end product to it. Well, very marginal that for me, Andy Cole. Finishes it cool, he knows he's offside at that point. This is the tug back, gets the benefit of the doubt here. The rider said he's outside the box. He's been playing like a left winger more than a left back for large parts. He's opening 15 minutes of Iderson. Romadar. Here's Bartlett. Swept in by Young towards Matt Holland. Cleared to Zesh Raymond. Murphy. El Karkuri. Now Kishishev. Jerome Thomas. And Murphy. Young has Romadal pushing on. And he's won a corner. That's a good run from Dennis Romadal. And that's where you want an end product from the winger. Something he hasn't always provided. Elected to drive it across. Murphy's corner. El Karkouri's header. Well held. That's a really good climb from El Karkouri. Gets up early. Just uses his man as a leverage. Good contact on the header. We well, saw El Karkouri's only goal of the season so far when we were here for the Monday night Charlton win over Blackburn. 
added to that tally since. Pride couldn't keep it in, but he does now move into the gaze of Player Camp. Sky Digital viewers press the red button on your remote to keep a close check on him. Sean Bartlett and risking censure from Steve Bennett at the least. It's hard to think they can play on, but the referee wants words here with uh, Buba Diop, and in fact it's a booking for kicking the ball away. Well, I think he had to book him, didn't he? He's not just tapped it away ten yards, he's launched it into the stand, and I think Buba Diop knew he was in trouble as soon as he did it. Coleman less than impressed. El Karkuri. Now Holland. Bride just held off by El Karkuri. That's Kishishev. Kishishev is young. Ramadal. Well, uh, his feet were too quick, Henry, even for Danny Murphy. He had not expected the ball to be left behind for him. Buba Diop. Rossinia. Holland. Now El Karkuri. Murphy. Kishishev. Young back to Radestein, Kishishev. Holland. Thomas. Really dealt with by Pierce. Well, the chest to be back in Romadal's direction, but uh, Pembridge got a vital foot to it. And this is Malbronk. No foul by Young, and Romadal escapes twice. Oh, and it's the cross that's a letdown in the end. Oh, Luke Young had made a really good run. On his outside, he was asking for the ball as he overlapped. Final ball again, we're talking about. It was the opportunity for Romadal to just knock the ball on the outside himself and knock it in from a more dangerous angle. the uh, son of two athletes, Dennis Ramadal, and he was doing a little bit of hurdling along with the sprinting then to get into that position, but from the options that he had, he finally picked the wrong one with the cross. And he did do well, you're right, to elude those two challenges. That's when you just want something to happen at the end of it. Make sure you find a red shirt. It's Legwinski. Senior Sylvain Legwinski now McBride Buba Diop playing it tamely against Holland could be a costly giveaway of possession Holland Ryderson Kishishev forced back by Steve Malbron who's pressing well too many times, wasn't it? 
had the option to pass it because he should. He didn't have a forward pass, but he had a square one. Well, he was terrier-like in his pursuit of Kishishev then, Steve Malbronk. A sign, perhaps, of the pickup that we've seen in Fulham since that uh, dreadful defeat they suffered against Blackburn when Chris Coleman was so scathing in his criticism of his own players. Pembridge. Cole. He's won a free kick in a very useful area here off El Karkuri. That's really mature play, experienced play from Andy Cole holds off his man. That's all he wants to do, doesn't want to go anywhere with it. And El Karkuri makes the mistake of going to ground, committing a foul. He's measuring out the distance of the wall, Malbronk, who's got a good scoring record against Charlton, one of those over this kick. Pembridge and Buba Diop, as we saw last week, can hit them. And as he's to the side of it, Malbronk looks the favourite. It's Pembridge! The wall strong enough to stand up to the shot. Well, Charlton deciding to go for safety and having Sean Bartlett on one post. Trying to avoid that quick free kick. I saw Thierry Henry do the other day. It does invite the opposition on, of course. You get people in front of the keeper and make things awkward sometimes. The chart and taxi, you can see there's all sorts of bodies in front of Dean Kiley. Bartley's on the right-hand post. That's what it's the, camp, uh, the keeper's call. He'll want that, Dean Carley. Here's Boobadjop. Forced to ground by Sean Bartlett. And here's Sylvan Legwinski. Here's Boobadjop. Legwinski again. Like up against Brian McBride. Alan Kirvishley tends to shuttle back and forth between the seat in the stand and the uh, dugout alongside Mervyn Day. Right. Cole. Holland. Here's the Widerson. Kishishev. Fortune. Turn away from Liam Rossignol, who gets back at him, the defender. He stayed nice and strong, didn't he, Rossignol, against what well, is a very tricky customer in Hardison. Pembridge, Charlton have squeezed up, and he's flagged offside Andy Cole, and it seemed as though he'd held his run to stay on. Not much in that, you know, Rob, not much in it. It's Luke Young, I think he's taking his line off, Andy Cole. No, I think he is, he's half a yard. Pretty close decisions as far as Fulham are concerned. Here's Murphy. Bartlett. Oh, and it's gone through to Thomas! And Fulham's failure to deal with the cross is punished by Jerome Thomas. Nice right, first chance of the match. First chance of the match from either side, and he's taken. Keep an eye on Jerome Thomas just at the bottom of the screen. He drifts in. Nobody's got hold of him. But it was Fulham's inability. It's Boobity up that caused all the chaos, really. I think he got a slight touch on that. And that's outwitted Rossinia, who was going to get the clearance in. But hey, fair credit to Thomas. He reacts very quickly. His touch, his control, his instant, and his finish is clinical. Jerome Thomas has his second goal 
of this Premiership campaign. So easy when the ball gets a deflection like it did off the up. For that just to confuse you and your touch isn't right, but he expected that. He kept his eye on the ball as he came across and his touch was just right for him to get a shot away very quickly. He had to get the shot away quickly. He's shifted in from this left-hand side. The senior's all set to clear that ball. Just gets the nick, doesn't it? Takes it away from the fullback. Lovely finish. Thomas with time to reflect on his goal. A hold up here because Herman Horidison has required treatment. Ryan Kirbishley getting messages across via Luke Young. Jerome Thomas had a bit of an anxious wait to be credited with his last goal, which uh, took a deflection off Ledley King in the match against Spurs. No doubt about this one, though. Beneficiary of Papa Buba Diop's inability to clear the cross. Well, perhaps it did need a shout from Liam the senior, but sometimes you haven't got time for that. Sometimes the man in front doesn't hear it. You just go for the ball instinctively. Here's Horidison. Now Murphy. Horidison. Thomas. And again, he's sandwiched in between Rossinho and Pierce and still picks himself up. Horidison's cross. Barlow challenges. And a free kick given. So clever in those tight areas. He's got really neat feet. Jerome Thomas picking the ball up, and as long as he can get inside the penalty area, you know he's going to be dangerous. The initial challenge from the senior where contact was made, no penalty for me. And even though uh, Charlton have cleared, the assistant referee has been flagging a while since. He's drawn Steve Bennett's attention now, the previous offside. Goal again. It's been that kind of half an hour, hasn't it, for Andy Cole, Don McBride? offside several times and at the half hour point Charlton we've only ever recorded one premiership win over Fulham are leading their London rivals thanks to Jerome Thomas's goal slower than Charlton's up to now. Now Brock, now Pembridge, Bocanegra. Now Bronk looking for Cole. Legwinski! Good effort. Swing to the right leg again, Andrew Cole holding it up. Just pops out to Legwinski. Slice across the ball. You get the sort of swerve on it that uh, Uber Diop managed with that fantastic climax to the Manchester United game a week ago. No sort of come around every day. Here's Young. Romadal. Kishishin. Cleared by Zesh Raymond. Now Bronk. This is Buba Diop. Pierce. Looking to set Cole away. Fortune had to deal with it. Nudge in the back from 
called for his troubles as well, Jonathan Fortune, but Ryderson holds off McBride. He did have to deal with it, Jonathan Fortune. It was a decent effort of a pass from Ian Pearce in Nicole's direction. Here's Legwinski. Now Thomas. Senior gets back at him this time, and it's Malbronk. It's cleared by El Karkuri. Bartlett. It's back from Zesh Raymond. Less precise ball than normal from Van der Sar. The goal scorer is now the subject of player camp. As we concentrate on Jerome Thomas. Ryderson. Holland. Romadal. And Ryderson. Here's Thomas. Murphy. Ryderson getting the better of the senior. Not catching Van der Sar out with the cross. Well, Fulham won't want to see that happen too many times where Ryderson gets up there. Imperative for them that Legwinsky does get back and help out his young fullback. And Ryderson's bombing on. It's been a really big threat. Lewinsky on that occasion was just 10 yards off. Here's Buba Diop. And Malbronk. Cole. McBride. Suddenly see space to venture into. Bubadiot plugged it temporarily. And the eventual ball from El Curry is not even going to be kept in by Romadal despite his uh, pace and athleticism. No, there's nothing wrong with the idea. That was the ball to Romadal. Just needed the right way to pass. And they fancied the winger to get onto that one. It's Bubadiot looking for McBride. El Curry's header away. Holland, now Murphy. This is Romadal, Young moving up to his right. Bartlett. Takori in solidly on call. Problem at the moment, Fulham, because it's all coming through the middle. Long balls up to Cole and McBride often, and the two Charlton centre halves are dominant up to now. Need to find something different, a little bit of variety to the play. Fulham spoke about their lack of width. That's something that Charlton have used up to now. Use those wide areas really well. Ryderson has already shown his threat in the air is going forward for this free kick. Talal El Karkouri to deliver. What a waste. He was aiming for Ryderson at the far post. He was having a tussle with Ian Pearce. Got it completely wrong. Out. 
Abuba Diop. Now Holland. Lewinsky. Malbronk. Here's Rossinia. Mashed against Herman Horidison. Here's Lewinsky. Rossinia. Through past to Ryderson and Thomas the first time for Leroy Racine, uh, Liam Rossini. Just need a bit of help there. A little ball back and ball whipped in first time, she's covering her face. Is that a bookable offence? <laughs> she's only just younger than Liam Rossini, isn't she? The mates aren't watching. In by McBride. Now Holland. Clearing headed by Zesh Raymond. Now Holland. Right. Oh, whatever you're doing Christmas Day, enjoy it, but leave yourself with enough for a feast of football on Boxing Day that begins at 12.30. Prem Plus, Chelsea against Aston Villa, Channel 433, for how you can see that. From 3 o'clock on Sky Sports 1, it's Birmingham City against Middlesbrough. And that's followed by West Bromwich Albion against Liverpool. Here's Kishishev. Given away rather cheaply by Romadal to Bocanegra. Here's Cole. Oh, misunderstanding there with McBride. Thomas. It's short for Holland. Thomas stepped in the way of Uber Diop, who just caught him. Uber Diop is on a yellow card. And having kicked the ball away in the first half. Of course, he's already been sent off in his Fulham career at West Brom back in September. It's the thing you get booked for a silly offence like that, and he's just got to be on guard for the rest of the match. With a player like Buba Diop who loves to get in the challenges. It's a tricky type though. They're fairly comfortable at the moment, Charlton. Be pleasantly surprised the way they had, had the first half has gone. Got the all-important goal and haven't been under too much threat. Playing in straight lines a lot of the time going forward for them, making it difficult for the two forwards. Not much to feed off at all. They got their lead at the Hawthorns in the first half hour and held on to it. And they do the same back at home. Here's El Karkuri. Cold working hard to win it back from him. Leguinski just trying to nudge it in the direction of McBride, cleared by Horidison. But this is Buba Diop. Pembridge. Leguinski. Pembridge again. Bocanegra and Buba Diop we don't want to see him shooting from this range he's got a deflection Steve Bennett had a good view of it. 
Can't get much more obvious than that, just nudging his full out of the way. A chance and score from this, it'll be hotly contested, I'm sure, by the visitors. It's Murphy's corner looking for Hawaiiderson, and it's gone right the way through. She just couldn't turn it in. Again, Hawaiiderson, the target, the threat. And he just seems to hold off Brian McBride here, and he gets the wrong side of him. But he's just going to hook the ball into the net. What about the second ball? Who can latch on to that knockdown? Looks a good chance there, but pops up. Murphy. Here's Young. Taken down by Papa uh, Hoover Diop. We've already collected four red cards in the Premiership this season. Here's Murphy. Now Brock. Now McBride. All looking to get through the middle, but it's too long for it. And a lot of those kind of balls from that kind of distance, 40-yard passes, asking an awful lot to beat a defence with one single pass, and it hasn't happened so far. Doesn't look like happening really for Fulham. Bartlett. Clearing header by Raymond. Young first to it against McBride, now Romadal. Cambridge got the tackle in, but it's found Young in some space. Takes on Pembridge. Romadal. Hoover Diop away. Good for one from Kishishev. And he has to deal with it. Oh, Luke Young taking the throw now. He's been able to get in some space. This half when he has overlapped, he's been the free man. Two minutes added on in the first half. Two minutes additional time to be played. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Cole. His piss. Senior. Pierce. Plays it against Horidison. Corner. It's better play from Fulham. They've got two players up there. The overlap. Two against two. It hasn't happened many times this half. Fulham enable them to get into those dangerous wide areas. Fulham's first corner and the wardrobe goes right in front of Dean Kiley. Pembridge with a kick towards Raymond at the back post. El Karkori climbs to clear, back in from Legrinsky. And Kishishev blocks the pass intended for Pembridge. Thomas up ahead. Here is Jerome Thomas. Now Holland bursts through the middle. Romadal's over to the right. And Luke Young supporting him out to the right. First time he's ignored Luke Young. Come inside again, Ramadal. Uh, Ramadal, no conviction from going for it from Kishishev. Raymond. Jerome Thomas continues to be the shining light of Charlton. It's his goal that separates the two teams at half-time in this London derby. Chris Coleman will be disappointed that Papad Bubadiop 
didn't cut out the cross before it got as far as Thomas. He'll be equally disappointed at the lack of chances for his side in that first half, who've been constantly frustrated by the offside trap Fulham, and at half-time Charlton won Fulham nil. Thanks, Rob. John Collins and John Salako are our guests this evening. Now, if you do believe in statistics, then um, I wouldn't put too much money on Fulham because Charlton have not lost after scoring first this season and Fulham haven't won after conceding the first goal this season. Chip. On Wednesday from 6 o'clock on Sky Sports 1, we've got coverage of the under-18 international between England and Scotland. We're at the Valley tonight for Monday Night Football. It's the Barclays Premiership match between Charlton Athletic and Fulham. And Charlton lead by a goal to nil. Charlton have had 55% possession. Fulham have had 45% of it. Charlton and Fulham have both had two attempts each, two on target for Charlton, one for Fulham. But the uh, man stealing the limelight, certainly at the moment, 21-year-old Charlton wide man, Jerome Thomas, yet another ex-Arsenal player, but the manager won't let up yet. Let's just have a quick chat with our two guests, John Collins and John Salaka. John Collins and bring in uh, Alan Smith as well. As a diamond formation, you were saying to me at half-time there, <laughs> it's not quite working for Fulham yet. Well, I played in the diamond formation when I was at Fulham, and sometimes the problem arises who gives you the width in, in the attacking areas. Normally it comes from the fullback. Tonight, the two Fulham fullbacks are blocked by the two wide players from, from Charlton. So Fulham are going to have to ask the two wide players in the diamond, which is on the right, and Pembridge on the left. They've got to give width when it's coming up your side. And none of the players are comfortable going out into the wider areas. Pembridge is a central midfield well, and leg. It's certainly a talking point for Alan Smith, and he's alongside Rob Hawthorne for the second half. So Charlton lead with a goal from Jerome Thomas that helps to celebrate his signing this week of a new contract, an improved three-year deal that effectively extended his current deal by a year to 2007. And Alan Kirby will be delighted that he has committed himself for that extra period, bearing in mind the sort of positive headlines he's generating. Charlton then get the second half underway, but how Alan do Fulham deal with this problem of a lack of width that they have? Well, it's a difficult one because the boys talking in the studio about Legwinski and, and Pembridge, they're not naturally wide-minded players, and it just highlights how much they do miss Lewis Boamorti when he's out. He just gives them something different with his positive running and his pace, and they're not quite the same without him. Ryderson's ball in, cleared by Sylvan Legwinski. And there is Ian Pearce. Now Thomas, the man who's got the goal. Swept behind by Herman Horidison. Lewis Belmorte scored in the Fulham victory in a London derby this year against Tottenham. But his absence does deprive Fulham of a key figure. I'm sure Chris Coleman would have been asking for a lot more from his team as a whole. I don't think he can have a go at his strikers in particular for their performances in that first half because they had very little feed off. The service was coming from far too far away. And he has got a couple of options on the bench. Collins, John, Thomas Radzinski. If it carries on this way in the next 15 minutes or so, I think he'll want to make a switch. Zagwinski's header away. Murphy, now Young. McBride. Here's Cole, Malbronk moving through the middle. Liam Rossinia. Magrinsky looking to return it to him. Here's Malbronk. Turned well, he's leaning across from McBride, he'd slipped anyway before Young cut it out. Nice ball from Legwinski, now can Rossinia keep it in? He can. It's a good ball in as well! Bocanegra was aiming to get there and the touch from Carly in the end was a crucial one. Well, in the same way that the boob the off touch helped Charlton, Carly's touch saved his side. 
because Bockenegger had launched himself onto this cross, all set to head the ball into the back of the net. Needed to be made from Dutch. What a cross, though, from Liam the senior on the run. Great save. Harley donates £50 to a charity every time he keeps a clean sheet. They benefited to the tune of £100 in the last couple of games. Will he keep another one here tonight? And help Charlton up to seventh place in the table. Here's Romadal. Now Luke Young. Raymond. Back from Ian Pearce. Bocanegra. Kishishev. Now Murphy. Here's Holland. The ball intended for Thomas. Rossini has stepped in, but Kishishev has won it back. Thomas. Skipped away from Legrinsky and then tripped by Ian Pearce. That's good feet again from the youngster. I do think Ian Pearce felt that he went to ground a bit easily or not, but he swiveled away from his. He's got two men up against him here. Nice quick feet, certainly contact, certainly a foul. Kirbishly feels that the uh, introduction of Jerome Thomas from Arsenal went almost unnoticed with all the ballyhoo of Scott Parker's departure. But he's certainly making his presence felt during this phase of this season. Murphy's kick. Glanced away by Pierce for the corner. Some good movement in there from the Charlton players. The Ryderson was ducking in and out and the question of concentration for Fulham there. Parkour is in there, Horidison and Bartlett. And they're shadowing at each, each other. And then uh, Raymond and Pierce's attempt to disturb that partnership, drawing the attention of the referee. Interesting this. He just uses Bartlett as a shield, you can see there. He stands behind him and he just try and peel off to escape his man, Horidison. Murphy's kick. Doesn't reach Horidison, but comes straight back out to Danny Murphy. And this time he does, and El Karkouri did well to get the shot in. And Van der Sar had the post covered. Oh, slack marking from Fulham to allow Hoardison to get that original header in. It really was. Here's Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Senior. Have made decent progress until Horidas has stopped him. Well, there was a half chance, wasn't it, for Elko Curry? He spoke about Horidas and ducking behind John Bartlett. Nobody picked him up, up in the second passage of play. As Danny Murphy flights the ball in. Asking an awful lot for Elko Curry to score from there, but he has a decent effort at it. He dug out the effort well, the Moroccan. Here's Horidison lining up the throw. Decent run up. Bartlett to Dennis Romadal. And by Kishishev. Away by Bocanegra. To Romadal. First time in looking for Thomas. Horidison has come onto that. Cross from Jerome Thomas. Horidison. You wouldn't think he's a left back, would you? Horidison, <laughs> he's everywhere at the moment. I'll tell you what, from Fulham's point of view, that man's important, I think. If they can get him on the ball, five minutes ago they had an attack and he had the ball into feet just outside Charles' penalty area. 
That's what they've been lacking, I think, getting it into Mel Bronx's feet. He's capable of causing problems, creating things in these kind of positions now. Hasn't happened enough for Fulham. Here's Romadal. Murphy's made a run through the middle if he can feed him, but Bocanegra prevents him from doing so and wins the free kick. A bit of a wasted opportunity. Romadal just not making up his mind quickly enough. Van der Sar aiming one here for Brian McBride, who had to make up a lot of ground. Here's Malbronk. Now Sylvan Legwinski. Cole pulls out to the right. Rossini's cross deflected across and cleared by Herman Horaidison. Well, certainly when they have looked the most dangerous for them, mostly when that man has managed to overlap, trying to whip some balls in. Ian Legwinski linking up much more effectively in the second half. Rossini. Managed to give uh, Thomas the slip, but not Matt Holland. Subject of player cam in the second half, Fulham striker Andy Cole. Holland came off Liam Rossini last. And Kirbishley alongside Keith Peacock. Alan Kirbishley would have been expecting an onslaught sooner or later. Hasn't quite happened yet, and he'd be pleased about it. Tom looks fairly dangerous going forward, don't they, Charlton? Got a free kick here. Horidison has gone on with it and has found Jerome Thomas. Looking to turn on the style again here against Liam Rossini. Papo Bubadiot, no messing around from him. may look for the flick on. In the end, comes short. Horidison. Piers couldn't save the corner. A little bit slack from Fulham because Fortune was surrounded by Diop and Ian Pierce and he's nipped in ahead of Diop. Let the ball into feet. Lay it back to his teammate. Won a corner out of it. And again, Horidison using Sean Bartlett as the human shield. They swap roles now. Murphy's kick. Bartlett goes into challenge with Van der Sar, and this time it is a foul on the goalkeeper. That was a dangerous corner. Well oh, worked in. Didn't get the decision first half. Bit of contact. Bartlett barging in. Raymond. That goes wrong for Pembridge. Kishishev looking for Sean Bartlett. Just too much on it for him. Charlton have only beaten Fulham once in their last seven meetings in all competitions. That's the 3-1 uh, victory they achieved here in the league 13 months ago. kick against Matt Holland. Bubadiop. Now Malbrock. Run back by Holland. Kishishev. Now Thomas. Murphy up to his left. Riders not offering further support. Thomas Uber Diop away then steps Radostin Kishishev 
And Romadal found some space. Shots for Pierce. Coleman has given it almost an hour, but Thomas Radzinski's introduction may not be far away. Well, not much of a surprise, I think Chris Coleman would have had a close look on how his team reacted after that half-time team talk. See if there's any difference, there hasn't been, to be fair. They don't look any more dangerous in this second half, so Radzinski coming on. Interesting what position he does take up. He's played right on the right this season for Fulham. Here's McBride. Here's Cole. Yes. Parkori. Challenged by Pembridge. Bartlett. Curry. Thomas. Now Buba Diop. Pride. Caught by Fortune. And here's Thomas. Pride has stayed down, but Charlton play on. Buba Diop wins it back. The senior. Confusion there as to the intentions. I think Rossini wanted to put it out, Legwinski kept it in, and in the end it takes a Charlton player to put it out. Yeah, I think that's right, Rob. But it's the way things have gone. Fortune was very sharp in there to Brian McBride. Chris Coleman might think that's a foul. It, foul. it is a tackle from behind. He gets the ball and Brian McBride's foot. I couldn't believe that they didn't get at least a free kick out of that. Here's Romadal. Now Buba Diop. Malbranc. Rich Cole with a cross cut out by El Karkori. Romadal. Sliding back in and winning it from Bocanegra and finding Young, who's got Bartlett and Thomas making progress to his left. Bartlett. And Thomas keeps it in. Now Horidison. Murphy. Thomas. Ryderson, Murphy, taking on Pierce. Oh, he's unlucky off the woodwork, and Romadal didn't react fast enough with the rebound. Great play from Danny Murphy. Well, Fulham's defence opened up like the Red Sea there, didn't it? And far too much room to run into. Danny Murphy. Here's Pierce. Winsky. McBride. Away by Fortune. That's Legwinski. Looking for Andy Cole. Well, Corey though, just gets his body in the way. Well, most of Charlton's play has come down this left-hand flank, and it was a good combination play from Horidison and Danny Murphy, but he really shouldn't be allowed to run this far. He's twisting his Ian Pierce inside and out. Well, that's just a little bit of luck that needs to go Murphy's way. He's trying to find that far corner. Well, Fulham are making the substitution. It's Steve Malbronk who they're taking off. And Thomas Radzinski on.
Well, I spoke about Steve Malbrunk, and he really hasn't been able to influence the game in the way that you would expect a man of his talent to do. It's been a quiet one for him, to be fair. Matt Holland, Radzinski, uh, sorry, Matt Holland, Kishishev have been all around him when he's got in possession, had no time at all. Of Carlos Bocanegra. Radzinski. Pembridge. Pubidiot. Yes. Now Rossinia. And again. He's going to get enough force behind the shot. He's looking on with his character. He's the side of goal down. More often than not, he's the man showing a bit of inspiration, a bit of drive. Liam Rossinia. An awful long way. Here's Romadal. Away by Bocanegra, at least that was the intention. With a bit of help from Bandasar, the pressure eased. Really a wasted delivery from a Bandasar clearance. He's picked out Radzinski this time. Here's Buba Diop. Had to get in quickly to stop any Buba Diop intentions to shoot. Here's Romadal. Now Murphy. Ramadan again. Touch back from Bartlett. This is Murphy. And now Thomas, the danger man for Fulham. A little bit of contact there from Liam Rossinho. And it's a yellow card. Well, he didn't hesitate going down here, Jerome Thomas. It's been a really good tussle between those two. No quarter given, and the arm's on the shoulder, isn't it? He's just tugging the shirt back. No question of foul. It's uh, right on the edge of the area. And Danny Murphy, who's already hit the post, coming in from this side in open play, now has a chance to test Van der Sar from the free kick. Murphy, El Kakori got across! Goal to Charlton! 2-0! Very soft again, isn't it? Really is soft, El Kakori. He's been a threat in the air at different times. He's just got ahead of his man. The header by McBride, and it's not an easy header, getting the angle on that, I think it comes off McBride with the final touch, he's just trying to help it into the area, he knows, he, he knows where he's aiming for, Danny Murphy, with that free kick. El Kakuri! El gets his reward. Not a lot Brian McBride could have done about that, apart from get a little bit tighter. Goal to add to the one he scored here against Blackburn. Talal El Karkouri doubles Charlton's lead, but Rossini looks for a quick response here. Pierce have got forward, safely taken though. Disappointed in the manner in which both goals have been given away. I said that it was a soft goal. You look at the replay and it's one of those, you're dashing ahead, you're not beating your man. McBride's goal side, it's just the fact that Al Kakuri gets his head there first and then he gets a bit of luck after that. And then it comes off McBride's head and maybe that just puts off Edwin van der Sar. That's what beats him. Thomas. Lewinsky. Now 
Fortune. Ryderson. Well, this is the free kick. That's the man that created the free kick. Taking on the senior. Question, was it inside or outside? It's right on the line. Just takes a little nick. Van der Sar, reflex action, couldn't get strong enough, hand on it. Senior looking for Buba Diop. Should be a push from Radzinski, but the referee ignored. It's Rosinia forward again looking for Radzinski. One by Young. Holland. This has had to come all the way back as Holland now defended. It's Young who's broken through the middle, and had he been able to bring that under control, Holland. Could have been looking at an even bigger deficit. That's one of those. It's coming over your shoulder from distance. It is a difficult one to bring down for Luke Young. Who, well, what's he doing up there? The guy back. The senior sees it out, feeling for the corner. Got a touch there, and he's in with a great chance of a shot on goal. Luke Young. Here's Ramadan. Now Young. Murphy. And Buba Diop. Here's Radzinski. Swung in by Pembridge. Taken the knowledge that that was always his. Here's Kishishev. Bartlett. Ball into Herman Horidison. He's ventured forward constantly throughout this contest. And he's got some energy, hasn't he? The ball back. In the opposing penalty area more than his own tonight. Romadal, now Young, who also hasn't been shy getting into the opposing area. The way we header from the senior, but at least he finds his man. It's uh, Thomas Radzinski. McBride. Cole. The senior, Leguinski. As it the passing hasn't been crisp enough or accurate enough for Fulham. Here's Raymond. Now Buba Diop. Legwinski. Radzinski taken down by Kishishev. Buba Diop. McBride. Cambridge. Bocanegra. Final ball lets Fulham down. That's a waste, wasn't it? What a waste. One of the few times that Fulham have got to the byline. On the run. Couldn't get the required way. No surprise. Introducing another forward, Collins John. The change is going to happen now, and Sylvan Legwinski is the player coming off. Collins John with more than a quarter of an hour left to try and help Fulham turn round what at the moment looks a bleak situation, but it looks as though they're going to go 4 2 4. Yeah, I mean, ideally the shape's a little bit top heavy, but Chris Coleman's got nothing to lose now. 
did it against Manchester United, didn't he? Reverted to a 4-2-4 and Uber Diop popped up with a goal. And see him to push on now. In the final 18 minutes or so. Try and get sight of goal. He hasn't had too many opportunities to tonight. sense of urgency about van der Sar with a clearance Matinsky is now staying on the left hand side Collins John on the right with McBride and Cole in the middle in this bold setup that uh, Chris Coleman hopes will bring his team back into the game Pembridge Thomas. Well, Ball was stuck to his feet then. He's done his fair share of defending, hasn't he, when he's had to. And then the seniors attacked. He's followed him. He's been clobbered for his troubles. And the player who has got to be careful. Papa Buba Diop. He was yellow carded by Steve Dennis in the first half for kicking the ball away. And uh, he's not backing away from the aggravation now. The contest with Murphy not won in much of, in terms of stature, but Buba Diop has got to keep his cool here and stay out of trouble. No, I think he has lost it in a bit of frustration. Steve Bennett's going to have a word. He just needs to cool him down a touch. Well, the last thing Fulham need at this stage of the game is to lose a player. And Papa Buba Diop is been given a final warning, his captain is there to overhear what Steve Bennett says. Ruba <laughs> Diop was hit with a club fine for becoming involved in the controversy at West Brom when he and Cole were sent off. You see that Andy Cole there was the calming influence. It's not always been the way in his career. As captain, it's his job. Here's Murphy. Now Romadal. Negra and Rodzinski almost getting in each other's way, but getting the benefit of a lucky break. Here's Pembridge. Kishishev. Bartlett peels away to the right. So to have young. Bocanegra holds them up for now. Sometimes Dennis Romadale just complicates his play instead of knocking it wide and using his pace. He has to be a little bit too in intricate, beat his man for skill, and he doesn't always have to do that. Bocanegra. Now Radzinski. Kakori, Murphy. Here's Rossinia. Buba Diop. Cole trying to chest it into the path of Collins. John. Horidas makes the tackle. It's Cole! And he misses the target. It's his first chance of the match. 76 minutes gone. First sight of goal with the ball at his feet. It's really all about just getting the ball in the air. You think Horidison's done enough there, but he pops off him. He's got enough power behind this shot. Not quite the angle. Is that a penalty? Does he catch Collins, John Horidison? Referee, let's play go on. He sees the advantage. Can't quite take it, Cole. This is Cole. Busy Boxing Day of Action, Prem Plus, 12.30, Channel 433 for Chelsea against Aston Villa. And a double header on Sky Sports 1. Join us from 3 o'clock for Birmingham against Middlesbrough. And we're staying in the Midlands to follow that with West Bromwich Albion against Liverpool. Charlton go to Southampton on Boxing Day, Fulham 
with a match against Arsenal to look forward to. And it's a former Arsenal player coming on here for Charlton and Francis Jeffers. Sean Bartlett, the player coming on. That's been a stuttering start to his charting career. Francis Jeffers. There'll be a chance here to get himself back in on and curbish his thoughts. Good with Yop. by El Karkouri, the man who scored Charlton's second goal, but now that advantage could be threatened by a free kick that he's conceded. Well, it's as central as you like, isn't it? Great chance to test the goalkeeper. Dean Kiley hasn't had too much to do tonight. One of his quieter games. All that concentration, though, when you're called upon. Here you can see Charlton just retreating, getting the man on the post. He had that monitoring role behind the ball as Buba Diop lined it up. Buba Diop! Skimmed the top of the bar. You have to fancy that Carly would have had this covered. It's just over his head. He wasn't able to get the angle on the shot into the corner. Going some to repeat his act of last week. We've got ten minutes to claw back two goals. Charlton narrowly ahead in what they've managed, both in terms of attempts and those on target. There's been a bit more in it in terms of possession and looking the more threatening side, I think. It's been a poor performance from Fulham really going forward. Chris Coleman will be telling us that afterwards. It hasn't happened for them. Yes, for Ryderson over the free kick for Charlton. Murphy. Now Kishishev. Young. Here's Jeffers. Losing out to Pembridge. Cole. Cutted into by Kishishev. It's a nasty one, I'd be surprised if Steve Bennett doesn't produce his card, he's reaching in his pocket. He went to ground, it was a tackle from behind. And he got too much choice on that one. And launched in from the distance here, distance here, Kishishev. And a card then for Radiston Kishishev. Here's Cole. Playing Rossini and Jerome Thomas again back to the defending. Yeah, easy as a youngster, you know, you've scored a goal, you've created one help throughout one of the free kick just to try and to cruise your way through to the 90 minute mark. But Jerome Thomas has kept switched on, kept his concentration. Pembridge's corner, McBride stopped on the line the first time, but then bundled back in. And Thomas Radzinski means that the outcome of this game is back in the balance. Well, sometimes you might not create too much in the night, but if you keep plugging away, you keep putting the ball in the area, Danny Murphy couldn't do much about it, come to his quickly, and Radzinski was alert to the chance as a striker, which always should be. The initial header from Brian McBride caused the problems. There you go, how do you like him, Thomas Radzinski? Well, the recovery is on for Fulham. Eight minutes to go, and Thomas Radzinski brings them hope here's Murphy here's Papa Buba Diop Collins John well it takes these changes these bold gambles from Chris Coleman to bring his side joy it worked against Manchester United a week ago 
Is it going to work again for the second week running? Dennis Romadal is being replaced by Paul Konczewski here as Charlton looks to tighten up. Well, yeah, it's the final seven minutes or so, but Herman purposely could do without. We've seen his side play very well. Paul well Taking chances. Extra body in that middle ground. Sure things up. He's going to take a position on the left-hand side, Paul Konczewski, where he's most comfortable. Charlton switching off now. Here's Radzinski looking for the free kick. Played it rather theatrically then, and Steve Bennett didn't buy it. Thomas has switched to the right since Romadal's withdrawal. Suddenly, from being down and out, renewed hope and vigour for Fulham as a result of one of their substitute score. On by McBride, then by Cole. Cleared by Horidison. Here's Buba Diop. Bocanegra. Pembridge to Pierce. Cut out by Kishishev. And here's Holland. Murphy. Thomas. Bocanegra got time to it. Charlton now just want to be taking the sting out of this game. After conceding that goal. Fulham be champing it a bit to try and get hold of the ball again. Question of keeping it for Charlton. Not doing that. Murphy. Now Thomas. Murphy suddenly found some space. Cleared to Cole. Young keeps Fulham at bay. Thomas. Getting across in front of Matt Holland. Here's Holland. Talk about Pembridge. There's Thomas. Zinski and Bocanegra between them, holding Thomas up for now, but they have conceded a corner. He'll take his time.